Hey guys, Colleen here, DIYer behind LemonThistle.com, and today I'm excited to talk all about where I like to buy home decor and furniture for my house in Canada. Before we get into it, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love if you did that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. So since I started sharing more of my home online, on YouTube, on Instagram, on my blog, I am answering questions every single week about where I have purchased things. Now here's the thing, I like a bargain and I like to shop the clearance section. So as much as I would love to give you an exact link and you can buy the exact thing from my house, half of the time or more, that's just not possible. So I thought that I would put together a video of where I like to shop, where I find great deals, and then you can shop for yourself and hopefully find some really amazing pieces for your home within your budget. All right, so I know that there is a couple ways I could go about this. So I think that what I'm gonna do is just go through the different stores that I like to shop at and I will show you their websites, give you some tips on what I specifically like from each store, and then I'll show you what I have from them in my own home, just to give you a better idea of what they have and the price point that they are at. So let's start with some of the bigger furniture items. So one of my favorite places to buy furniture is Article. Article is a Canadian brand. They have modern furniture and while they have like splurge items, I feel like for my budget, they have been excellent quality, everything that we have of them. So the sofa in the living room is an Article sofa. They It's discontinued, but they have similar ones here. You can see the pricing for me would be splurge pieces. I would shop here for items that I want to keep for a long time. We also have outdoor patio furniture from them. It's been excellent quality. We are a semi-desert, we get hot sun, and we bring it in for the winters, but it is lasting beautifully. These dark gray dining chairs in the dining room and in the boys' bedroom are also from Article. One of the things that I am currently shopping for is accent chairs. So I thought kind of to help compare price points, I would show you the accent chair section on each of these websites so you can kind of get a picture. So you can see here between $500 and $1,000 for accent chairs. So the other big pieces of furniture in my house, like our bed and the boys' bunk bed, are from Leon's Furniture. This is also the chairs in the living room here. I did a collaboration with them years ago. The pieces have held up really well. They're high quality, but there is not as much selection for fun and modern pieces. They're really basic furniture, but well-built. All right, another place that I do like to buy furniture is from Wayfair, and I'm sure that you've shopped on Wayfair before, but what I really like about them is you can search for the type of furniture, and then you can narrow it down by price. You can narrow it down by color. You can narrow it down by so many different things that it makes it really easy to find exactly what you're looking for. So you can see that there is a huge range in price points from really affordable stuff on Wayfair to really expensive, but the reviews on Wayfair really tell the story of the quality of item that you're going to get. So I definitely recommend reading those and look at any pictures if you need to. So some things that we have ordered from Wayfair are this chair and lamp. We really like Wayfair for lights, so all of the kitchen lighting, our dining room light, and then also this ottoman in the living room, and Calder's bed right in this picture here, all from Wayfair. My office chairs are also from Wayfair. Wayfair also sells a lot of different brands, so things like this desk, which originally we had gotten from Leon's, they've discontinued it. You can still buy it from Wayfair. Okay, my other favorite store to find furniture at is HomeSense. Now, of course, you can't buy anything on the HomeSense website. It's kind of like a liquidation outlet style place, uh, similar to like Winners or Marshalls or I know that the States has a lot more of them, but if you're in Canada, you will know HomeSense. You can get great deals on things. It is a perfect spot to find rugs affordably. They have awesome one-of-a-kind pieces. We love the wood furniture that you can get there. We have our console is from there. The entryway bench is from HomeSense. A lot of our smaller scatter rugs are from HomeSense. Most of our plant pots, so smaller things, are from HomeSense. And they're really great for vases and lamps. All the lamps in Aubrey's bedroom are home scents as well. Most of the throw pillows in Aubrey's bedroom are home scents. And they're just great for kind of cute decor that you're going to swap out often because they are such an affordable price point. But then the bigger pieces are high quality and gorgeous and they will last. 
Another place that we do get furniture is, of course, Ikea. So you can see in the playroom here, the Ikea Kallax shelf and the Alex drawers we had made over with a base and some paint to make them really modern and beautiful. And they're so affordable. We've done the same with Alex drawers in the boys' bedroom to make it into this built-in desk. And then some other things we like from Ikea, we have our round mirror from there. It is the best deal for a mirror of that size that I could find. All of our curtains are Ikea. We really love these Ritva ones. They have a beautiful texture to them and they have the pocket, but also the threads on the back. So it gives you a higher end looking curtain than the ones with the rivets or the big rings. The other thing that we get from Ikea pretty much exclusively is picture frames. All of the picture frames in our hallway gallery are Ikea as are the large frames in our living room. And those large frames are only $20. So for a full wall of art, it was $60. Plus inside those frames, those are DIY prints that I made on dollar store poster boards. So that is a really affordable way to fill a large space in your home. All right, another place that I shop for furniture is Structube. Structube is a website, although they do have some showrooms across Canada. I have bought both of the things that I own from Structube from a showroom in Vancouver. The quality is pretty good for the price. The price is really affordable. It's like above Ikea, but below article. And the only thing that I would say for that is again, to look at reviews and pictures because the scale is sometimes a little bit off on the struck tube pieces. So for example, this coffee table that we have in our living room is absolutely perfect for our space because it's a really low couch, so we needed a low coffee table. But if you put this with our basement couch that is a higher, more substantial couch, it would look just small and really funny. So if the scale seems off to you, I would definitely be cautious with struck tube furniture but we have been really happy with everything we've purchased from there. Okay, other places that I do like to look that I don't have a ton of furniture from necessarily are Urban Barn. I love to go in there. It's a beautiful store and their furniture is like middle high end. You can see the accent chairs here and the price point. All right, so West Elm, I really love. It is a higher price point than some of the other ones that I've shared, but I have scored awesome clearance finds from them. I got the rug for our last living room from there on clearance. If you watch it, sometimes things will get marked down and they just keep going down. It's really great. And then from CB2, I like to get some of their accessories like hooks and bathroom hardware. When we did our bathroom at our last house, it was really hard to find nice black like towel racks and things like that. And CB2 has some great options. And then they also have these wooden uh, dot hooks that we used in our last mudroom and then use right now in our kids' dress-up space here. And those are really affordable. So West Elm and CB2 are both places that are more expensive, but then have some items that are super affordable mixed in there. Okay, let's talk about rugs. So I mentioned that I got a rug from West Elm. I mentioned that HomeSense is a great place to find rugs. I love the rugs that we have had from Article, although they are on the more expensive side. The other two places that I like to get rugs from is Ruggable. They make washable rugs. So we have them in our dining room, in our hallway, and right now in our living room as well. They are great quality. Then I also like to order from Rugs USA, and I do this when I want an affordable rug and I'm looking for something really specific. Even with the exchange rate, it is sometimes the most affordable place to find a style of rug that I'm looking for. So the rug in the boys' bedroom, the rug in my daughter's bedroom, and both of our outdoor rugs that we have here in tier are all from Rugs USA, and then so is the runner in our entryway. And I love all of those. I'm really happy with the quality. I would never buy anything on Rugs USA for full price. Wait for at least a 60 or 70% off sale. Some other places that I really like to look for home decor. Uh, first of all, patio furniture. I really like the Canadian Tire canvas line of patio furniture. And they do have some indoor furniture that's great as well, but their patio line is awesome. And then I really like Walmart's patio furniture actually, and it is super affordable. 
And then Home Depot also has some great patio furniture. Okay, speaking of the Canadian Tower Canvas line, they do have other really great things. I love their seasonal lines, their wreaths, their candles and lanterns, but also the chairs around our dining table. The white ones are discontinued, but they were the canvas line, and so was the light above our last dining room. I also like to check Superstore, and I mean, that's where I get my groceries, so it's fun to wander their home section, but they have great deals. You can find beautiful ornaments sometimes. Several of my vases are from Superstore. Lots of my baskets, these large baskets that my plants are in, those are from Superstore. And these lanterns that I have out on my deck, these wooden look lanterns here, those are also from Superstore. Okay, other places that I like to check in person, uh, we have a local store called Far and Wide Decor, but they also ship across Canada for some of their items. They have really great uh, like plant pots and like small like bath mats, vases, candles, that sort of thing. So I will link that below. A lot of my plant pots are from there. And then online, some of the places that I like to check for things are Etsy. Etsy is like a handmade eBay kind of thing where users can put their store online on their market and sell you things. So I have quite a few things from Etsy in my home like this linen body pillow cover here. I have a custom metal sign that I got ordered from there. There's lots of like really unique things that you can find on Etsy that you can't find anywhere else. I also love to check Rejuvenation. I get asked all the time where this specific pillow cover is from. It was from the Rejuvenation clearance section. And the thing that I like about Rejuvenation the most is their hardware section. And they put so much hardware in the clearance. It's wild. This is our doorbell right here, you guys. Look at that markdown. It is incredible. So if you want to have a matching doorbell, it's super cute. You definitely should. Six dollars, you guys. All right, another two places that are great to check for Canadian online stores are simons.ca. There's clothes, but there is a home tab and they have beautiful pillow covers and accessories. And then also Beauclair and Beauclair kind of has struck two prices. There's really good deals and you can kind of click around there and we've ordered from here a couple times as well. Speaking of smaller stuff, one of my favorite places to order smaller home things online from is H&M, which I know it's a clothing store. We order a lot of our kids' clothes from there, so I always check the home section at the same time. And I love their tea towels. I love their kids' things. This is my daughter's laundry hamper. It has bunny ears. It's adorable. It's like this swan is from there. These hooks are from there. So are these hooks. And they have some really cute rugs as well. Look at this bear rug and it's a decent size. And for that price, I mean, awesome. I also love to get cute little vases and things like that from there. I have a bunch of little ones. The other thing that they do have is really affordable pillow covers. So you can see these ones here are $6.99. They're kind of a cotton canvas and all of the pillow covers in our living room are these $6.99 H&M pillow covers. Another place that is mostly a clothing store but has some great home things hidden on their site is Urban Outfitters. Their home section is, it looks a little bit like a teenager's bedroom, but there are some gems in here, I promise you. I really like their lighting specifically. Their bedding is gorgeous too, but their lighting is really affordable for what it is. So in our last home, we ordered so much lighting from here. Our bedroom light, the kids' bedroom light, our sconces on either side of our bed, those brass ones, they're so pretty. In this house, our living room arm sconce is from Urban Outfitters as well. It's right here. Okay, so the other place that I do look for smaller decor is Amazon. Uh, I mean, it's hit and miss with what you're able to get from there, but they do have some great pieces. We order almost all of our curtain rods from Amazon because I can find exactly what I'm looking for, and usually the price is pretty reasonable. So our bay window curtain rods, our extra long curtain rod in our living room over the window and the doors things like that. You can just be really specific in your search, which is nice. Again, like Wayfair, just make sure to read the uh, reviews when you're on Amazon. 
All right. So that is the non-exhaustive link of everywhere that I like to shop for home decor in Canada. And I will link all of the stores that I pointed out in this video below. And I will also link the shop my home page. I have a page that has links to all of the items that I've pointed out here if they are still available. And it also has links to all the DIYs in my home. If I didn't point something out like our dining table or most of the art in our home, that's because they're DIYs. DIYs and I do have tutorials for those. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. And as always, you can hit that bell to be notified about new videos. We'll see you next time.